New tonight, federal investigators are on the way to the Chicago area following this deadly collision on the Eisenhower Expressway. The crash involving several semis and cars shut down traffic for hours. It just, just crumbled. Everything just crumbled. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. It happened on 290 near St. Charles Road. CBS 2's Adrena Vegas is live in Elmhurst tonight with the latest. Adrena. Rob and Erica, you'll see the flashing lights over my shoulders. These inbound lanes here at I-290, this stretch, are still closed, and they have been for eight hours. Tonight, a spokesperson with the National Transportation Safety Board says that agency is sending seven federal investigators to look into this crash tomorrow, something very rare for an agency that only investigates 20 to 25 crashes a year nationwide. 290 eastbound at St. Charles, accidents with injuries. The call came in around 2 p.m. I was like right behind the last truck and everything just, it just, just crumbled. Frantic drivers saw smoke and flames. Residents who live along 290 heard loud bangs and tires exploding. A devastating crash that left one person dead on the inbound Eisenhower. Mangled metal and smoking semis, all that was left. Two semis, a car in the left lane, well involved. We're almost going to need foam on this one. Three semis and four cars were involved, according to the Illinois State Police. From chopper two above the scene, you can see those vehicles zigzagged across the inbound lanes, which shut down for the entire rush hour. Outbound lanes were also closed for a short time while firefighters worked to put out a fire. Stand by, you don't got a whole lot of water left. You guys are going to have to hold on for that water. We're out of water. Out of one person died in this crash. Three drivers were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. And tonight, the Illinois State Police tells us these lanes could be closed until 5 in the morning. We're live along I-290 on St. Charles Road in Elmhurst. Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Yeah, just horrific pictures there, Audrina. Thank you.